My collection is inspired by my life as, as Gumpi, um, which means possum. So um, as I live on the Kumba Mary uh, country here, or Kumba Mary land, which is the Gold Coast, um, I've, I've grown up uh, doing my culture on this land, so I have a really strong connection with the land, and obviously being born here as well, um, you know, it's, it's, it's my home. It's, a, it's, it's where, uh, you know, I practice culture all my life and where my fam family's growing up. So basically the collection is about that. So it's about my dreaming, my, my life on this land. Uh, everything I paint basically is a story of this area as well. So, um, and that includes my family growing up. So whether we've, as we grew up, um, as children, I remember going down to the rivers to collect oysters or going to the seaside to get pippies. Uh, so everything, in a way, even though I didn't practice, uh, uh, well, we didn't have Aboriginal culture passed on to us as such, and it was a gap missing, we were still living that way as such anyway. So to tap into those stories and be taught by elders, uh, you know, that's something that I wanted to put down onto my canvases and make this time my exhibition um, a lot more personal, I think. Uh, when I was uh, growing up, I, I began uh, doing culture as a, a, a songman and a dancer, uh, doing Aboriginal culture. So uh, basically, in that, being in that field, uh, our other elders and stuff like that were doing paintings. So I've always seen it around me. So I think uh, as, a, as a young adult, around, around the, the t 20 years of age, I started to get interested. So. Uh, seeing that uh, sort of sparked my interest and, and then I began painting animal artworks uh, like other people around me. Uh, so regarding my technique, when I first started painting I was doing animal stylistic painting. So uh, like the old days, so having the animal with, um, you know, the insides of the animal and different patterns. So. I started off with that, but then I went to abstract form. So when I went to the ad abstract form, I really like black, white, and greys. So I started with really basic, just large dots, and that was basically it. So I was really plain, really simple. And then over the years, as I started to get me more creative, uh, with my and, and obviously uh, been in the industry a lot longer, I started to create more smaller dots, different things to break up the paintings and basically come to a style that I have today uh, which is hopefully known by a lot of people. Okay, some of the commissions that I've done um, and, and had the privilege of meeting uh, some of the people as well. Uh, one is a, a, a Gold Coaster that a lot of people would know as Kenton Campbell, so, uh, who was the CEO of Seraphas. Um, uh, really nice guy. He um, actually come to uh, Gallery One and uh, on the opening night of my uh, last exhibition, uh, um, and he didn't even know that the gallery was here, so he walked past and basically come in to have a chat. So. Um, we we never met before, and in the end, I think he, he purchased a lot of artworks that night. So it was uh, it was actually crazy. So and then we've um, still got a relationship today um, between me and the gallery in Kenton. So um, also one of the hotels that are local uh, was a really nice one. Was at uh, at the iconic in Kira, and they had three of uh, my artworks uh, put in the reception there. So. Um, they look really nice, the decor was really great, so it fit well. So, um, Also, uh, not so much a commission, but I've, I've done another artwork which I met uh, the, the actual person, uh, which was Princess Benedicta of Denmark, so she was here at the Marriott, and I'd done a dance show for her, and she really loved uh, one of my paintings, so uh, that painting um, now, now hangs in, um, in Germany, uh, where she lives, so in, in basically one of her castles, I'd say. When I see my artworks, even on a gallery wall, or even when someone has, has purchased a piece, I, I, 
it really makes me proud of what I'm doing. So, you know, it, it, when I do paint a lot of the artworks, when I paint them at home, I never see them again. So, you know, if I am lucky enough to, to obviously see them on a client's wall and to hear the, you know, the praise that, you know, is coming from that client, how much they actually love what I created, you know, it, it, that definitely helps me to go back and paint another one again because, you know, like people sometimes spend a lot of money on these artworks and, and for, for something that I've created, you know, it, it's, you know, really, really good to hear. So, and it inspires me to keep working hard. So we were, we were doing a dance tour with my troupe, uh, Bunjalan Kandil. So I've uh, travelled France many a times now. So this time, uh, one of my uh, uh, friends over there, he, he got us a gig at uh, Wine Cellar. So basically, as we passed through, we had one gig there and we had to travel to Italy the next day. So um, he took us for a tour through his wine cellar and told us how he makes the wine. And I was really interested because I grew up going to Mildura in, in Victoria in Australia and picking grapes with my family for, for most of my life. So, you know, especially through my childhood. So I didn't tell him this, but, you know, I, it just brought me back to those days by being in that, that great country. So he told me how he has artworks on the labels, which I, I noticed. So I, I end up asking him the question, how do you put those uh, labels on each bottle? You know, how do you go about that? So he said, basically, when he tastes the wine and, and, and smells the wine, it has a character and he knows some artists in the local community. So basically, he will adapt one of their paintings to the character and the taste of the wine and then that'll be that label for that, that blend and, and for that year. So I went back to the, the old monastery where we were staying uh, over the road and so I, I ended up painting uh, on, a, on a square piece of um, uh, canvas and the next morning I put a note underneath the door, if you ever want to uh, do a collaboration and you, you have a wine that reminds you of us, well, you can, you can go for it. So it took probably two and a half years and he contacted me and, and that's basically how it came about. Um, I do like to enter obviously to hear that I've made the art prizes even better so you know it's, it's great to be around other artists especially people that you've heard of even growing up I've been in some art awards where the people that are in these art awards are some of the people that I've seen as top-notch artists in the industry for a long time. So to have my artworks alongside them, you know, it's 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 basically makes me feel good that I'm I'm on the right track. The Paddington Art Prize, um, I was in a way a little shocked, but at the same time I was really confident because I really wanted to make it, and it was the first art prize that I have tried to enter for. A number of years, like six years, I stopped stopped entering art prizes. I was I was just sick of getting the rejection as well. So, uh, but this was the first one I ever entered again, and and straight into the into as a finalist, and and I flew down as well, and I met some of the other artists there. So it was great to to see my artworks alongside some of the well-known names of today as well. So um, definitely a highlight on on my CV. So. So what drives me as an artist is basically to inspire others around me from, you know, local community members, you know, to, to anyone basically that I meet and especially my family. So I, I have children as well. So, you know, I want them to be the best they can be as well. So when I, I do my artwork, I try to be, you know, the best in the industry and I, and I try to pass that on and I know that my family and other people who know me really well see that, you know, I'll push the limits. So, and I do think that catches on, you know, I think other people pick that up as well, so, which is really good. So, you know, that helps me sit down every day and, and put another dot on the artwork. So, you know, and, and loving what I do also, you know, that helps me along as well.